But yeah, Fang grew to level 10, so now I can go back and turn on that experience share. Good, that's a bag. Key items. Key items, there we go. Experience share on. Good. I figure that should be pretty good. Um, I'll have Bucky take the lead for now. There you go, Buck. Yay. I like my team so far, let's see. Trainer tips. There are pairs of trainers who challenge others for two-on-two -two Pokemon battles called double battles. In a double battle, the trainer must send out two Pokemon, the ones at the top left and the top right of their list. Pay attention to how you array the Pokemon in your list. Okay. We must have been fated to meet. May I ask you for a battle? I don't feel too worried about, like, double battles or my arrangement right now. Because I don't have any, like, great um, team concepts or anything. So I think right now I'll just go brute strength and, yeah, we'll do that. Either way, Cindy at level 10 Zigzagoon, they are starting to get stronger. But we have three level 10 Pokemon, so in your face. We're totally going to kick your butt once I move. Yeah, one more ember and you're probably going to faint. Or maybe. Or or just barely survive. One or the other. Oh, crap. That attack... Okay, critical hit. Never mind. Tackle was strong. Dang it. Ha ha ha! Ha ha Yes! That worked out really beautifully. Okay. What kind of experience do we get from that? 120 for each person? That sounds good. Buggy grew to level 111. 1-1, one, one, in other words. Good. Um, and we got the same amount, I assume. Cool. Oh my. I got a lot of money from that. 1,200 poke? Sweet. And that's good because, again, I need money so I can actually buy pokeballs when I get back to the Mart. Should I or shouldn't I? Okay, sure. I will battle. That was a tough decision. I thought you were kind of locked into the contract when you met eyes. Not only that, but she walked up to me only to ask the question. I feel at this point, actually, that Peck would be better here. Hmm. Well, I don't really want to use Ember. How about Scratch? Is Scratch any good? Actually, yeah. Might as well just use two Scratches real quick. I mean, it's better that than take the time to switch out, right? If another Lotad comes out, I can switch, you know, between the fights. One down. Not level up yet, really? A Shroomish. Um, actually, anyone could do that, so I'll let Fang take it on. All right, you got this, Fang. I am again really glad the Fang knows Bite now. Even though in this case, I do plan on using Ice Fang because of the type advantage. So, Ice Fang. Not gonna kill it, but yeah, it did some damage. No! Not Leech Seed, which if you think of it in real life, Leech Seed is a terrifying move. There are other terrifying moves in Pokemon as well, but Leech Seed is just one of those that I always... If I think about it, it's like, ugh, ugh, I don't want to think about seeds, ugh. No. Stop it, me. This should be decent experience then. I want Feng and Peck to level up again. But it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. So experience share... The majority of the experience goes for the Pokemon who actually does the battling, right? I guess. Because otherwise, I feel like um, Fang and Peck, if not have leveled up... Did I say evolve before I meant leveled up if I did? They would have at least done, like, gotten closer than they are right now. So instead, just with that being the case, I'm going to have Fang and Peck take this one on. This double battle. Just let Buck set off to the side for now. We're twins, so we battle Pokemon together too! Alright, you're gonna battle our Pokemon! Yes, we are. And we're probably gonna win. Just knowing. Oh, those are cute little Pikachu dolls. They look a lot more like rabbits that way. Hello, Tad and Seedot. This is actually really good for Fang and um, Peck. Alright, let's do this, guys. Okay, um, Fang, use Ice Fang on... Crap, I think Seedot was super effective. Maybe it wasn't. Peck against Lotad. Or maybe I sh Yeah. I was going to say, maybe I should just have them both on one to really make sure that one goes down, but I'm pretty sure the Peck is going to go first, and I wouldn't want to waste that, you know? Let's see. Super effective it is. Okay. Neither of them are down, but only one's attacking. Oh, Bubble actually hits both. I didn't know that. Cool. All right, Ice Fang. No, wait, wait. Go back. 
Just use a normal bite. I'm running out of Ice Fang. I think the bite is more accurate. Maybe not, but whatever. We're gonna do this. No, C Dot. You stop that. Stop storing energy. It's a smart thing to do, kind of, in some cases. Cool. Uh, yeah, Peck leveled up. Taylor grew to level 11, because I read it. I'm gonna have to find a nickname, Raider, or whatever. It's Peck. It totally is now. Ah, oh, Buck grew to level 12. Maybe they do get the same amount of experience. Buck was just, like, really rather far ahead in the, like, on the line. I didn't know. Not disappointed, I just wanted to try to find a good balance, so it's all good. As far as that goes. Cool. I'm so disappointed that we lost. We lost even though we fought together. Yeah, because I'm better. It just happens. Right, so then. We are just. I want a fishing rod. Why keep it a secret? I'm the water Pokemon expert. Huh? You don't know me? Oh, dang it. For a second, I was. Well, I ran up to him expecting a fight. But then I thought, oh, it's not gonna be a fight after all. And now he's fighting me. That's okay. We're just gonna have Fang dominate with Bite. Which, actually, at this point, is Poochie in a normal type or a dark type? Does it have dark in it? What I get stab bonus is basically what I'm asking here. I can check right after this battle, so no need to comment that. I'm just kind of thinking out loud here. Um, let's speed this battle up. No fishing rod. Lame. All more berries, and this old lady. If you see berries growing in top soil, feel free to take them. But make sure you plant a berry in the same spot. That's common courtesy. Here, I'll share this with you. I thought you were done. Thank you, old woman. The way you look, you must be a trainer, no? Trainers often make Pokemon hold berries. It's up to you whether to grow berries or use them. Oh, well, thanks, old woman. I will do that right now. All right, up we go, finally. Rustboro City, oh, it's right here. Convenient. Sweet, so, oh, okay. Oh, hey, it's May. When did she get there? So you made it here to Rustboro too, Riz? Yes, I did. In the flesh. In the game. It's really big here, isn't it? Flutterwood can't even compare. Not in terms of size, no. <gasps> oh, and Riz, have you heard? There's a gym, or a Pokemon gym here too. Yep, I'll take it on. Once I catch a couple more Pokemon, I'll be sure to take it on with my team. See you later! Alright, goodbye, May. It was nice seeing you again. So far, I've seen her more often than I see my dad. Hmm, you look like a businessman. Excuse me, trainer over there. Do you have a minute? You know, sometimes moves are too strong to catch a Pokemon. You end up making a Pokemon faint even when you don't want to. For such a common problem, use this! Oh! TM54, False Swipe! That was actually very convenient that I spoke to him. False Swipe is a very handy move. No matter how many times it's used on the opposing Pokemon, it won't cause the Pokemon to faint. I'm offering it for free right now! This is a limited time promotion! Well, I hope May got in on this sweet deal! Either way, buy more Pokeballs. Uh, I'm gonna see what doing them in stacks of 10 does. Because, you know, in the past I get like, Premier Ball! Yeah, I got a Premier Ball! So I'll just buy one more stack of 10, one more, because I want to hold on to some money, just in case, I guess. Um, I don't know if I have anything that would cure that, but hey, one antidote. There we go. That's good enough. Now I'm going to head off to heal, and then, honestly, I want to, if I can, because usually there's a cutscene or something stopping me, um, I want to try to take on the gym once. So, yeah, let's do that. Hold on, there's a businessman in here, too. I want to see if he's... Yeah, giving guy. Hmm, has anyone told you that you have the looks of a Pokemon breeder? No, that'd be a weird thing to say. No. Hmm, I see. Then what do you look like? Um. 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 I don't know. Just as I thought, that's the look. Aw. Aw. <laughs> Is this the dude that we saw? Oh, who might you be? You're a new face around these parts. Have you just transferred into the Pokemon Trainer School? Okay, no. Apparently they just all look like that. All the scientist dudes. Hey, you look special. What's up, dude? Have you taken on a Pokemon Gym yet? Once you get a shiny gym badge in your hand, that's when you really start to feel like a trainer. 
Thanks, special looking person. I'm sure you're special, but I don't know how. Ooh. Hello. You must be a new challenger. I am Roxanne, the Rustboro City Pokemon... The Rustboro City, there we go, Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I may apply in battle all that I've learned at the Pokemon Trainer School. If you defeat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll present you with a gym badge as proof of your strength as a trainer. Please take up the challenge. I look forward to seeing you as a challenger. Until then, farewell. Alright, I wonder if they're all gonna have an intro like that first. Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? I'm no trainer, not me, but I can sure give you winning advice. That's settled then. We'll aim for the Pokemon Championship together. It's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers. And that's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym leader here, is a user of Rock-type Pokemon. The Rock-type is very durable, but it can't stand Water-type and Grass-type moves. Come see me afterward if you beat the gym leader. Well, go for it. Crap, I'm not at all suited for rock. I have a fire type and a bird. Which means flying type. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to go and find something. Maybe train a wingle just for the sake of this battle? I don't know. The Devon Corporation? It's kind of a mouthful, so we just say Devon. The company makes all sorts of convenient products. Oh, that's cool. What if I go up here? Anyone gonna stop me? Nope, no one's stopping me yet. Mm. Yeah, I think that though, in order to take on the gym, I am going to need to get another Pokemon, like a grass type of some sort. So I'm going to call it here. So with all that, <laughs> thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, of course, feel free to like, comment, and if you're new, even subscribe. It means a lot, it really helps me out, and I would love to have you guys. So, <laughs> tune in next time for my next video. And until then, take care. Q outro, go!